I gotta say, it's probably like one of the ugliest masks in the game. What I'm about to show you right now. Like, what is that? Oh, this adds a whole other dynamic onto the onto the game. Wow, I'm messing with the weather plugin, and this is pretty awesome. <clears throat> Sorry, I got like a little bit of a cough from the uh, potato chips. I had salt and vinegar chips, and it's <laughs> irritating my throat. <laughs> Thing. So I'm gonna go fishing. Let's go back in the bank. Hold up. So I could actually cook. Put some of my stuff away.
While I'm fishing, I'm gonna go get a drink. Look at this guy. That's the best haircut of 2024 right there. It's like one dread. One dreadlock. Ugh.
Almost a level 53 fishing. Wow. I'm getting there. I am getting there. the hell? Okay. Yeah, beekeeper gloves. <laughs> oh, what a freaking gift. Thanks.
I swear to God, I get the strangest shit on Twitter.
see, does it really make a difference? It does, it really does. every single time that somebody asks me i decided to make a video showing how you can make your client go from the default settings that look like this turn into something more like this so just a few seconds before getting into all of my settings i just want to remind you all that if you end up enjoying this video and it helped you out please hit that subscribe button as i'm trying to reach 1,000 subscribers by the end of february i've gotten a ton of subscribers over my last few videos so i also just wanted to thank all of you who have already subscribed so thank you so much anyway let's get into the rune light settings okay so first things first you are going to want to turn on animation smoothing check all three of these boxes and turn it on doing so will make your guy more fluid with his motions and his turns while just basically standing to if it's off it kind of just lags around kind of jumpily i don't know how to explain it but you you guys all know we all play old school so turn on animation spook okay and your guy will move around much more smoothly. Once you have that turned on, go on down to the camera. And what you're going to want to do is obviously turn that on, expand the inner zoom limit that lets you zoom in a lot farther than usual because without it, you can only zoom in this far and with it, you can zoom in that far. It's not that big of a difference, but it is kind of nice whenever you're checking out your outfits. Also, you wanna expand your outer zoom limit to 250. That lets you zoom all the way out here. You might not realize why you might want to do that, but it helps a lot, especially if you want to run places, because you can click over there, and your guy will run all the way over there. I also turn on vertical camera that lets you see your guy from the top down. Helps a lot in things like winter Todd, things like that. It's just more camera options for you. And then I have my zoom speed on 25. Uh, that's just how fast you zoom in and out. But anyway, once you've turned the camera option on and done those settings, the next one, which is going to make the biggest difference, is the GPU. This one is gonna be entirely based on what your computer can really handle. I still don't think it's a big deal if you don't have the best computer, cause I kinda of don't, but all of this works fine for me. So draw distance. I have mine set to 90, which is the max, because you might not realize why you might wanna do that, but it helps a lot, especially if you wanna run places, cause you can click over there and your guy will run all the way over there. I also turn on vertical camera that lets you see your guy from the top down. Oh, a lot and things like winter time things like that it's just more camera options for you and then i have my zoom speed on 25 uh that's just 
How fast are you zooming in now? But anyway, once you turn the camera option on and done those settings, the next one, which is going to make the biggest difference, is the GPU. This one is going to be entirely based on what your computer can really handle. I still don't think it's a big deal if you don't have the best computer, because I kind of don't, but all of this works fine for me. So draw distance. I have mine set to 90, which is the max, because if you don't, your game... Oh, honestly, I don't know why it went like this, but if you don't have your draw distance on, your game basically stops there. I don't know why it got all pixelated when I did that. It's probably messing up a different setting than I have. But anyway, so turn on GPU and change your draw distance to 90. That lets you see all the way over there. Also, you are going to want to remove color banding. If you don't know what color banding is, you can kind of see it over here. You see how on each square it's like a dark color and then it gets a little lighter and then a little lighter and all these lines. So if you turn it off, it kind of turns into a gradient that isn't as harsh and it looks a lot better. Up next is UI scaling. You are going to want to turn it on to bicubic cathode ROM. I don't know if that's how it's pronounced, but that is one for your sharpness. Or if you're looking for more of a smoother look, you could do the XBR. Kind of smooths everything out a little bit, gives it more of a rounded edge. Lines aren't as harsh. However, since I make videos, I want mine on the sharpness mode, so it is on bicubic cat mole ROM. Also, anti-aliasing. You are definitely going to want to have that on. Because as you can see, it's kind of like choppy. The lines are kind of like, you know, and I don't know how to explain it. But whatever. I turned mine on to MSA 16, and it makes everything ridiculously smooth. So for example, again, that's without it, and this is with it. This option here that I can't really pronounce in so tropic, I think, maybe? I don't know. I just turned mine on for because I don't know really what it does, and it's never been a problem for me. <laughs> and then also, I just skipped, I realized, uh, fog depth. I have that on five. That's basically, if you're zoomed all the way out, the edge that you can see. So if I turn it all the way down, it's a harsh line. That's as far as I can see. That's as far as I can click. If I turn it up to five, it kind of just fades it out a little. It looks really good. You can also turn this all the way up if you want to, like, like way high. And uh, it looks kind of stupid, but it is what it is. Also, another setting is bright textures. I don't ever have this on, but it is kind of nice looking. Yeah, just brightens everything up, gets rid of the shadow. I like the shadows, so yeah. Alrighty, now that your GPU turned on, the next setting that I have on is low detail. So this is the game without low detail mode. It does have a lot more detail. You can see the grass and stuff, but I think it kind of looks chunky. It kind of looks bad, especially if you're just, you know, just looking at the screen for a while. It's just a bit busy. I always turn on low detail mode. It cleans all of the grass and stuff up. It makes everything look a lot more smooth. But that one's completely up to you. It doesn't really improve or take away any of your graphics or anything like that. So yeah, it's just completely up to your preference. Up next is resource packs, because normally the game looks like this and uh it's a lot brighter it's a lot more whatever it's not really my vibe though i really like the dark mode i did make a video in the past on how you can do this i'll link it up at the top here right now but i'm not sure how accurate that is because i've gotten comments on it saying that it's been updated since then and everybody can do this without going through all the steps that i went through in the video so yeah i just keep it on dark mode that kind of makes everything pop as well the next one is called skybox and this one isn't necessary but it's just something that i like because that just adds basically a skybox to your game because without Skybox, this is what the game would look like. It's just all black. Everything's black. It's super harsh. And it kind of takes you out of the zone. At least I think so. So I always have my Skybox on. And it just brightens it up a bit. It's not as a uh, Debbie Downer kind of look. I don't know how else to explain that. And the last option here that I have turned on is Stretched Mode. I have it on Increased Performance Mode. I really don't know what the difference is here. But I have my Stretch Mode on because without Stretch Mode, the game would look like this and yes you could see a lot you could do whatever but everything down here is super small all of your ui is very tiny so i turn stretch mode on turn resizable scaling to 100 percent and it gets this big which is very helpful for videos and things like that because i can have this game in full screen mode for me and you guys can still see what is going on but yeah other than that that is about it for all of my rune light settings However, you guys might have noticed that I didn't say anything about the color in the videos, and that is because I do that post-production. So I am sorry to say, but your game isn't going to ever most likely look like mine, color-wise at least, because I edit that after the fact. But I am going to show you real quick 
the settings that I do have for color correction for those of you who do make videos, you guys can see my set. Alright, I'm not wanting to copy this guy's whole setup. It's a little loud. Difference is night and day, though, I'll tell you that.
Y yeah, ok. Paying no six hundred thousand dollars for a hood. Who do they think I am?
Look at all this crap. Everything so expensive. I plan on getting level 79 woodcutting by the end of this video stream.
might start getting my slayer up. You gotta see here. Do some quests. Monsters. Crawling hands. I gotta work on my slayer. Definitely, dude. Banshees. Slayer masters. Face mask, earmuffs. Maybe I'll do it tomorrow. I'm not really looking to mess around with that right now. Can I get any closer? Damn. <laughs>
I like helping people, man. Like, when I see someone that's, like, brand new at the game, or, like, just starting out, I, I throw, like, 60 grand here and there, 100K. Because I remember when I first started, people were helping me in the in the cow field. And they were giving me 100K, 200 to 300,000. So, <coughs> just figured I'd be nice. Not everyone's nice and... I'm just saying you might enjoy making money cutting wood and uh, fishing is alright that's what I did for most of the stream It's a sick outfit. Still looks like an ancient, ancient god. The heck? Hey, look at this guy, man. 
I'm gonna have to cop that outfit. <laughs> we'll see, we'll see. Yeah, okay, billion? That's a lot of money, man. That's a lot of money. I don't know if I can handle that. I think the best bet is if I just go here. It's 
spend the night here, you know. <laughs>
Honey roasted peanuts. Snack on some of these. Almighty, dude. Let's see, what level do I gotta be to cut the redwood? I smoked a lot of here. It's level 90, are you kidding me, bro?
I want to get darts. I want to get darts. Not too crazy about the crossbow. Ugh. Mm-hmm. <clears throat>
Damn, I hate when I gotta sneeze.
I'm gonna just I'm gonna end the stream here and uh, thank y'all for watching.